money. I have money. I spend money. Money. A duck shovel, 200 rupees. Seems expensive. <laughs> Not when everyone just drops shit when I murder them. Thanks a lot, and come again. I don't even got a regular shovel yet, but fuck it. You can feel the joy of digging. All you have to do is set to X or Y on the subscreen. Digging. Yes. Yes. Why would I buy that? Soon hard piece, even though you're only a piece of heart, so like you're not even that good. Wait, you're only 10 rupees. And bombs 10 rupees. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come again. Thank you. Come again. Hmm. Hmm. I must investigate this travesty. <laughs> bork, bork. Oops. Oops. Do not repeat that mistake. How do I bring you with me? I want to bring him with me. <laughs> I bring him with me. Didn't he like sniff out spots that would I should dig in? Like, I think I want that. Pretty please. Ka. That's not the right way to go. I took a wrong turn. And everyone saw in this video. Somewhere around here there was a thing to break. Hello. You. <laughs> Leave me alone. I just want to blow up part of your property. Get out of here. Cut. Howdy. <gasps> A secret shell. What are they for? I'm out of here. Don't look at me. Alright, good start. I think that's everything at that place. I think I can just move on from that. I left a mark though, you. Yeah. When I was on my way out, I wanted to head back to town yesterday. I put a mark down there after the I think it was after the episode was over. I was wrapping up. I just want to get back to the town be between episodes. And I found a crack on the wall. And now I found the bombs. I don't know if they were there the whole time. Or if I, they showed up later. So I have been to that merchant before. But I don't remember if the bombs were there specifically. Usually you have to unlock bombs. You don't just like buy them at a store. In the ones I've played, the 3D ones at least. You don't usually like just have store bombs sitting there at a store. Uh, and that's the only way to get them, apparently. Usually you unlock the bag for bombs, and then bombs just kind of spontaneously happen at you via bushes and, sh and enemy drops. Like, if you have access to the resource, usually it just drops at random periodically. But that might be a fundamental difference between 2D and 3D. I don't know. Okay. That'd be kind of rude. Hmm. That's an option. Huh. Can't seem to talk to him at all. Is that at least on the map now? No. Okay, I guess I'll just leave that there, that little point. 
There's still something going on there that has not yet been resolved, as it turns out. Can I take these guys? I can dig all around, but not the actual like spot that has the weird coconut seed thing. Is it like a palm tree seed? I don't know. I don't know much about palm trees, if we're being honest. Kaka! Don't make me kill you with a shovel. Ow! Doesn't work. Mom, my shovel's broken. Fix it. I don't, know, I don't know though. That dog sniffed at a spot, so I want to dig that spot, but I don't remember where it was. Maybe I should have marked it. I didn't realize the dog was going to get taken away from me, but he seems to be gone. Maybe I can ask him back. Gah! Gah! Okay. I kind of thought something might happen. Dompe Shep is to the right end up. So that's not very helpful information. Am I crazier as Dompe's shack, like, all the way over, like, he yeah, it's all the way over here. It's weird to have a sign here pointing to it, unless I'm missing something, like, is there a way to get to Dompe from here? It's it's it just strikes me as odd. A giant egg on top of Mount Tamaranch? They said the wind, the wind fish is sleeping inside of it. Why? I don't know either. Where are you from, dude? Outside the island? What is outside? I never thought about it. You've never thought about the idea of being outside the island. I'm wondering if you could, like hammer these posts down or something, because one of them holds him in place. Yep, yep. It's like, what if you can like get access? Is this guy who was like accosting me back home now? Yep. I was hungry for something fierce, so I went and got bananas at the beach. Yes, uh, Jasper, if you want some, uh, you should go and get some. There's it's bananas at the beach? I destroy your property, it makes the curling nest or sound effects and sound or whatever that thing is. Dare I try for the- did I get the harpies already? No, I didn't. Yeah, I should, I should probably get that. Got a little bit more money. XA, yeah. Aha! Don't you dare drop it. Oh, I will actually murder you. Okay, it doesn't work like a real crane game. The claws actually are like... I think claws are magic and just hold on to whatever you catch. Good to know. The main thing is to let go early because it, it kind of has a little bit of momentum and keeps going. The real hard part's gonna be those moving platforms though. Those guys are a nightmare. How the hell do you do that? You have to predict where it's gonna be. The shield, I don't even- is that even a better shield, or is it just the shield I already have? Challenge again. How much is a 10 rupee worth? I mean, a red rupee worth. Is it worth 10? Is it worth 50? Isn't purple 50? Is this even a net- is this even a net gain, or is it just my money back? I don't know. Oh yeah, look at that physics! Okay, yeah, the claw magically holds onto it. You don't have to worry at that point. That would have fallen out if that was any other claw game. I'm not complaining. Oh my god, did I get it? <laughs> oh my god. What is it? Is it a bomb bag or something? I don't even know what the shield is. Do I want the shield? I can't believe how lucky I was. It's never happening again. Now it's... No, God. Now I really messed up. Oh, what a nightmare. 
Come back. No. Nope. Help, I broke the whole puzzle. I, is that even a better shield or is it just the one I already have? I don't know, I'm throwing money away, I guess. It's fine though, I got the I got everything else. I cleared the shit out. So I have 123 right now. 20 rupees, that's not really that good. It's a net gain of 10. Magic. Oh, it's not even an up. What the fuck? Why is it on the slidey platform if it's not even valuable? It's just 10 magic powder? I can't even carry that. It's, I literally don't have room for it. What a rare find. Yeah, that's actually good. Why is that one easy to get? I'm so confused. Whatever. You got a chow chow figure. It must be someplace you can display it. Uh, I have no idea though. Kaka! Oh my god, that fox! It's terrorizing the entire neighborhood. Somebody should kill it. Kaka! I take out these posts. Nope. You guys have Chow Chow. Do you have a figurine spot? Does Bow Wow? There's Chow Chow. Yeah. There's little Chow Chow. The Chow Chow figure. Looked like the real thing. Requires a lot of love and a lot of patience. A statue requires a lot of love and patience? How I wish I'd receive a visitor carrying a ribbon on their person. I would direct them to the doghouse on my premises. My cheek, my chic baby Chow Chow has been pining for a new accessory. Well. I guess I know where the next part of the trade is. Makeup, jewels, dresses, I want it all. Oh, that ribbon, I need it. Will you trade for my dog food? Yes. Th lucky, thanks. Well, here's your dog food. You exchanged ribbon for some dog food. It's full of juicy beef. Yum. No. Oh. Okay, no, it turns. Okay. I wanted to know. I, was one, I wanted to know if it was doing the Mickey, the Mickey Mouse ears effect or not. But it's not. Okay, I've done two things for you now. I've given you two Chow Chow related things. Are you happy? Oh, ho, ho, my Bow Wow is so proud of his fine fur coat. I just reset back to the original dialogue. I see how it is. Alrighty. Alrighty then. Let's go all the way back down. Because now I've got canned food. And I know somebody who collects canned food, evidently. Which is a normal thing. I guess. It's not. But okay. Hey, Mr. Gator. What's that you have? It's canned food. For heaven's sake, man, give it to me, please. I'm gonna lose it if I can't get that can. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'll take that. That's... oh no. Ugh. That was great. I know it's not a fair trade, but here's some bananas. Yum. Oh, that is where you got the bananas from. Good deal, is it? I guess. I don't like bananas or canned dog food. Neither of these sound appealing to me. Sale traded you in a, this... Sale traded you this in exchange for dog food. His name is Sale? Yes, it is. Thank you again. That was yummy. Well, making progress. Who else wants bananas? Maybe the Mario guy? Cause he, but he already has bananas. But he's the only reference to bananas I remember off the top of my head. I've got to, I've got to complete every step of this trade. You never know what the end result might be. Maybe it's the Master Sword. <laughs> or the gig, the Biggerin blade, or whatever, the Gigahorn Mjolnir. <laughs> This is pleasant. I just wish that there wasn't like a part where the frame rate goes <laughs> every time I walk into a transition between zones. I was talking for something. 
Yep. Yep. Just steal your bananas as penance for your treachery against me. Where else was there a place I needed to blow up? Maybe in the dungeon? I don't want to go all the way over there right now. I'll go up there again sometime later for the other stuff, so that's probably when I'll go to the dungeon again. I'm pretty sure I did want to blow something up there. But uh, I don't feel like making the trek, because I think I think this area to the right is the next story beat area. Oh. So... You're, this game's just nonsense, huh? Okay. It seems like I should just wait until the things that I actually want are on the easy track and then just take those. It's like, there's a... That's a Goomba statue, but like, I, before... No! They can fall out! What a dick and a half. Alright, well I want this though. I think I'm just gonna avoid the stuff that's in the back track, because it's so astronomically hard to get. But like, a heart piece and a statue were on this easy track earlier, so like, it seems that the easy track's pretty... Do not fall out. Oh god, I'm worried. I don't trust this physics system to not just dick me over. Alright, yeah, I'm not gonna go after the money. It's not worth it. You got a secret seashell. Put it in your ear and hear those whispered secrets. Wait. That's what it does? How do I use them? I don't know how to use them. Maybe you can't actually use them? Until now, I thought they were currency, and I still think they are for, like, some character somewhere. But that one was, like, telling me how to use them, and I'm like, huh? I didn't know that was an option. It's very important, by the way, that this game doesn't let you do this. You can't just go... You have to charge it. That's how every Zelda game should work. Because letting me... Allowing me to spam the spin is broken as shit. <laughs> By just spinning a joystick? It's really easy to spin a joystick, guys. I don't know if that was supposed to be hard or something, but... Does your stock change over time much? What? A bow and arrow set is almost a thousand rupees! Oh my god! I'm gonna rest- I'm just gonna stock back up again real quick. Thank you, go. Might as well stock up before I leave on my journey. It's only 10 rupees, so I don't really care. Alright. I'm having a good time. Just chill. Who would have known Zelda games might be fun to play? Is that a flying Octorok? You trying to do, like, one-finger death punch stuff on me over here? This really is the Mario Logic Zelda game. Now the normal enemy has wings on it. It's like the shells. In fact, a lot of the images scream Mario to me. Uh, even when they're not explicitly Mario creatures. So the grass just grows back the moment it's off camera, huh? That's spooky. Dompe's Shack, the strangest dungeon of the... See the strangest dungeon of all. I gotta say, Dompe, you have a lot of advertising surrounding you kind of a little weird, honestly. Kaka! Oh yeah? Come here! Come here! Come here, baby! Come here! Oh, stop it! Kaka! Can I push you? Okay, cool. That's, that's good. Can I push you? Can I push you again? Nope. Can I push you? Okay, we've got a shortcut back out. Can I push you? Good. Hey, Getting some money back already. I can almost afford the heart piece again. Um... Can I push you? And then you? And pick you up? Got it. 
<laughs> Somebody give me like a rupee, pretty please. There it is. Dang, overkill. Anyway, back at it. Hello, shop. Piece of heart. A low... So, <laughs> 200 apparently a low price for a piece of heart. Ooh! I got... That's my eighth piece of heart. I've, wow, that's fast. I didn't realize I was making progress that fast, but that's already my eighth one. So I've already got two bonus hearts from pieces of heart. Another tip house. Those are just everywhere. Yeah. Oh god. Okay. That's a lot of enemies at once. Gah. Gah. I think this guy's automatically dodged the first attack against them. Ah. I am considerably more durable than I was before. They call me the lawnmower man. <laughs> oh god. Ah! Tried to get back out. Okay, yeah, you get a you get a hook shot in this game. It's really blatantly obvious. Because he fired the hook shot across and it hits, it hits that stump and pulls you across. And there's also a stump on this side, so you can go back. Alright. Yep. Certain items are just developer favorites, slash fan favorites, so they make it into like a whole bunch of different games. That hook shot gets around. Whereas other Zelda dungeon items do not. Can't go that way. Stupid sign blocking my path. Yeah, you know, so can't go that way. Not to get rid of the rock. I wonder if you. Oh, good guy. I wonder if you ever get a speed method for cutting grass. Hello, rabbit man. Or, uh, I'm sorry. Frog man, <laughs> I'm a lunatic, sorry. Jasper checked out the dresser. Yep, everything checks out. That's a weird thing to do, sir. Rivet. I can also jump. I can also murder. Gah! Wow, look at that glitz and glamour. What are you, a Fire Emblem character? Salutations. You wouldn't know, you wouldn't know by the look of me, but I used to live in the castle. My servants went berserk, and I was forced to flee to my villa. So, you're looking for something, aren't you? I may just have what you're after. But first, I want you to retrieve the golden leaf I left behind in the castle where I fled. Okay. <laughs> Smashing! To tell you the truth, there are five leaves, and I want them all. Okay, you'll need to do some digging, to, so go buy a shovel. Are you off, then? Good luck. Just go buy a shovel and find my leaves in the castle. Yo. I'm not afraid, I just decided to wait at home. I need to- why are your- why do your leaves need shovels? Richard's Villa. Canulat Castle, ten minutes. Huh. Okay, I need to get into there. How do I get into there? There's a heart piece. Just tucked away. As you do. There must be a way. Ukuku Prairie. This is the prairie I'm supposed to go to. For the stirry. Oh my god, that's terrifying. I'm so sorry. Why can't Link swim? Oh, that's a key. I should have checked to see if my, if I currently can open that with a key or not. 
that I have. Probably not. But it's just a shortcut. This looks like a secret. It is. Got him. So what's your dealio? Oh. Some strange energy is pouring from here. You should find out what it does. Oh. It makes you jump really high. Evidently. That's mostly it. Have I seen one of those before? I'm guessing it's a warp system. Yep, there's one up there. There is a warp system. This whole time I was worried that there was like a way to teleport around on the map. Like by looking at the map. I'm like, but the, I was thinking like, this is Zelda. All, the, all your buttons are on the screen at all times. So like the corner of the screen would probably would tell me if yeah, I could teleport. Instead, this warps me to there and probably other spots eventually. Once you've activated it, but I've only activated one so far. Oh my God. I hate it. No, bad. Dumpy. Yeah, I mean, I have, I got, I can pick these up now, can I? Yeah. Since I can pick them up now, I might as well just go take a, pay a visit to Dompe real quick. You get around so quick once you can do this. Damn rocks always blocking me from getting around. Tall Tall Heights is a really funny name. Am I still too busy for you, Dompe? Hey, there you are. I want to show you something interesting. You've gotten poking into some of the ruins on the island, I can tell. I make little chambers based on those dungeons. Put some chambers onto the slab back there, and it turns into a real dungeon. How's that work, you ask? Who knows? But I want your help testing the limits of this thing. I want to hear about the dungeons you've seen. It inspires me to make new chambers for you. With a few chambers, you can make basic dungeons. With a bunch, you can make complicated ones. See if we can, uh, see if you can use what you got to finish the challenges I give you. Though you're not done. Once you finish arranging a dungeon, you gotta adventure through it too. I'm no designer though, and I'm no adventurer either. It's all up to you. I'll make, I'll make the risk with that, uh, I'll make the risk worth it. Impress me, and there's treasure in it for you. You look like you've been through a lot. Sit down and tell me about it. You got new chambers. Slot them into the dungeon to see what's inside. Eh. What are you here for? Oh, that's the real reason you're here, huh? Amiibos. Gross. <laughs> dungeon arranging 101. All right, nightmares. This is is this new? This seems like it probably wasn't in the original game. I started this one already. Can you finish it? Make a path from the entrance to the nightmare's lair. There's got to there's got to be a stop along the way for the treasure chest. If a chamber's got an exit, you got to connect it to another exit. Nobody wants an exit that goes nowhere. Take chambers from the menu on the right with A, then slap them to tiles to the left with A. A lot of times you want a chamber with a particular set of exits, so that's how I divided them up. You can flip it. Huh. All right, this looks involved. We'll check this out next time. <laughs>